Hello and welcome to L8 Tutorials. My name is Alex Hughes. Today we've just got a really quick video uh, on the advanced DMX camera control that is found in the Trace and Unlimited versions. So I recently had a project that required uh, a bit more finite control and we were in a reasonably large room. For those that are unfamiliar with the DMX control facility, basically what we can do with inside of it in L8 is we can patch the uh, virtual camera and we can manipulate it using various parameters. And overall the feature is fantastic but sometimes I just wish that I had a little bit more finite control uh, and I believe a couple of people have had this as well. I can see the reason that the way that the system works currently where it's based off basically the room center uh, but if you're looking for a way in trace and above versions, hopefully this little trick will help you. So the issue that we have is only present in large rooms. So if you pan a bit forward and then we try to pan right now, rather than panning on the spot, we're actually panning around the world center. So if I turn off my positioning and I try that trick again, we can see that pan and even tilt works perfectly as if we were uh, basically as if we were around so we can we can you know we can pan all the way around as required but it'd be nice to be able to basically move your world center like a uh, full 3d camera and the process believe it or not is reasonably simple for trace and unlimited versions so if we go into room and we scroll down and we find an empty slot we bring in a 3D model. Now I like to use a ball. I don't know why. It's what I've always used for this little trick. Uh, basically this is going to come our world center. So we don't want to actually see the ball. So we're going to make it glass. And we're going to basically make it transparent. So we're not even going to see it. For extra luck we're also going to make it as small as possible. So we can't see it. Uh, which is important with renders. And we're just going to make sure that there's no reflections on it whatsoever. Then we're going to drop it into a layer. So we're going to go into layer one. We're going to call it ball cam. And you can use any 3D object you want. And then we're going to, with the object selected, make it the world center. So now that is the center of the world. Now if we position this in uh, what would be your normal camera start position, so wherever, like wherever is a good spot to have your camera. So um, we're going to go all the way to the extremities of the space. And we can see that the X and Y positions aren't changing because every object is now relative to this location. Uh, when you're building your file, obviously you can set your, another object to your world center. But here I'm just going to the edge of my room. And a little bit outside of the room and that'll be my world center. Then we want to go into position one and we're going to grab ball cam and we basically want to manipulate one parameter. So we now want to manipulate ball camera and we want to set basically its maximum range. Nearly there. Obviously in a big space this sometimes takes a little while and technically you could just fang in the uh, the values manually. But here we're going to set it here and then rather than clicking on two objects we're going to go DMX input and we're just going to assign it to uh, channel 15. And we're also going to make sure that when we do it we set 16 bit. Which means it'll consume two parameters. So we've got basically our Y position done. Now if we go into position 2, we can now set our X. And we're going to make sure that we give it about 15 meters of... Uh, well, let's go, let's go a nice round number of 20 for our Y. And the reason we're going to do 20 is because when we come in here again... 
and we set it to 17 because we've got 15 and 16 set to the other one, we're going to remember that I actually need to shift this object. So if I find my ball camera again, we want to shift it far to the left. And the reason we want to shift it far to the left is when we're controlling it via DMX, obviously we can ramp between 0 and 255. So we need to make sure that our 0 value is uh, not in the middle of the room. So now we can click Save. And we can come into the lighting console quickly. And we can make sure that I've patched. I've created just a fix to here. Um, which is basically just the X and Y values. But once we've done this, we can use our DMX control again. And now for X and Y, we've got uh, our ball camera. Now technically you could put this and make this part of your normal L8 camera. But now when we come out into the room and I go over to camera and I go pan, we can pan on the spot. Uh, and we, I've mapped just uh, X and Y, but we could also have done a third one for the Z axis. But for Z, we can actually kind of use just the default uh, height as we want. But yeah, basically map a 3D object, set it to be world center and move it around. And then you've got as much control or as little as control as you need, and you can also set it to 16-bit. That's the tutorial. Thanks for watching. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us uh, or the L8 development team. We're all hanging out at the forum now at l8.ltd slash f or just via our Facebook page. Just search for L8. Thanks for watching.